Hey guys, I get this question asked all the time. How much is my setup? So this is gonna be your 2023 PC setup tour and how much it costs. Stay tuned. What's up guys, it's your boy Junior, AK Semi. And if this is your first time here, make sure you like all my videos, you share my videos, comment all my videos, and definitely, definitely make sure that you hit that subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one whenever we go live. Cause trust me guys, you never ever wanna miss out. All right, so I get this question asked all the time. Everybody, from everybody that knows me, all from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Every time they see some kind of picture of my setup, they're like, damn, that's a nice setup. Thank you. For everybody that appreciates my setup, I do thank you. I've worked very hard to get where I'm at with my setup, and I do appreciate the, the work that I put into. People actually appreciate it, so I do appreciate all that good stuff that you guys give me about that. And, of course, the price point, guys. Every time I'm going to talk about the price on my setup today, I'm not bragging about it. I actually compile a list of everything I have set up right now to this day right now uh, it, it's not going to be doing all the parts I added before and replace it with newer parts I'm not going to do that because my budget is going to be way over for what I said but of course I'm going to give you all the price points that I did so far on this computer and I'm going to give you the like I said earlier I'm going to give you the price points of what they cost today not what they cost uh, last year the year before or five years ago wherever the, the prices were. Because remember, a year to two years ago, we had a price increase on PC parts. You barely could get anything. So a lot of these parts were, I paid over price from when they came out. The 3080 Ti, that right now costs about $900. I, I believe when I checked, I'll give you the price later on. But when I bought it, I paid two Gs. In, at that time because of the you know how the hype about the GPU so I didn't include two G's in that I, I just put it whatever I pay, whatever it costs today if you buy it today how much you'll get it and all the prices I did I did through Amazon or if they weren't bought from Amazon I went straight to the website where I got it from and I got the price from there all right so remember I'm not bragging about anything on my setup today or how much I pay, how much I spend or nothing like that. I'm just, cause I get this question asked all the time. How much did you set up? And the last person actually was actually on my TikTok. He goes, hey, not to get too personal, but how much was your setup? I really like it. It's a really nice setup. And I, and then what I told him like, not to brag, but I spent over 10 grand on my setup. But I don't know, I don't know the exact price point on that. And my wife also asked me, you probably spent more than 15 grand on your setup. I'm like, no, I don't think that much. Well, she was right, just put it that way. She was right. <laughs> she was actually right. And so after she asked me that way before, she's always telling me that. And then when the guy on TikTok asked me that question, I was like, you know what? Let me actually break down everything, how much I pay for everything. Because remember, this is a two PC setup. Got my main setup here and I got a streaming PC right there. The case might change from the last time you saw it, but it's basically the same PC, just a, a little bit of upgraded parts and a new case on it. Well, not a new case, the old case I had, uh, cause I had to give the, that old setup that I had here, I gave it to my nephew for, uh, as a Christmas gift, cause it was a brand new setup, I never used it, never got around to use it, so I upgraded some parts in it and I gave it to him for Christmas. So that's why you see it's a different case here, cause I went for a full model. The other case was the ITX. That was an ITX build that I did. You guys seen the video on it. If you guys haven't seen it, go look at my video channels and then you'll see it's in there. A whole ITX build. This is a regular ATX setup now. Um, there's d different reasons why I went with this uh, this way than the ITX. I learned that after I built the ITX. Don't get at me. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna go over everything I have here. Everything on here is part of this setup here. I'm not going to go over the second PC that I have over here or the third one I have up there. I'm not going to go over the laptop I have here or my second laptop I have down here. I'm just going to go over the PC setup here. So everything that's here minus the two laptops is with how much I pay for everything. Because if I include the laptops, 
I'll be way more than <laughs> than I, I have price point right now. And so we're gonna go over everything, show you everything I have. Um, I'll leave a list of everything I have here in the description down below. Hopefully, if I got time, I'll put links to the prices where I got them, like Amazon links. So you, if you want to get something for my setup, just click look down below and you can click on the link. Um, if I didn't put it on there and you want to find out something else that's on here that I had that I didn't mention, message me down below and I'll go ahead and give, tell you what it is and how much I paid for and everything. All right, the only thing I did not include in the setup that you will see up here right behind the VR headset, this is the PC VR. There's a little two box and the lamp. The lamp is just for me because of the side of my bed. And the two box, it was just, it's something for my brother. It's a memorial thing that I leave here with his picture on the side. So those two things are now including the price point of this whole setup. So let's go ahead, take it to my PC and show you everything I have here and how much I pay for everything. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so here we are. This is looking straight at my PC. This is where I sit at. 90% of my day because <laughs> I work from here too and I do my YouTube stuff here My internet browsing My video watching my movie getting everything I do from here. So this is my layout here So if you come right here, the first thing you see is that bright as PC right here This is my main PC my setup right here as you see All right, so this whole piece just the PC tower itself right here Right here that you see the RGBs and everything. That whole setup right there cost me $5,660. Um, that's not including taxes or shipping. So that's just the prices that are on listed on Amazon. But you know with the taxes and the shipping comes out more. But I'm not going to include that. But this is what's set up here. And you're wondering what's inside this PC. So as you see it is a Leon Lee O11 Dynamic. Razor Edition case. As you see, I don't know if you can see right there. You see the Razor symbol right there, yeah. And then it has all the green accents there. Um, it is a little different from the normal O11s because usually there's a little slit on the bottom right there opening. But instead of being in the front, it's on the side. So the opening's on the side like it usually is on the front. This case right here was $180. That's how much it cost right now to get. And that's what I have here. All right. And powering the PC, the motherboard, I don't know if you could tell back there. I'm gonna bring it back out here. It is a Asus RUG Maximum 8 Extreme Motherboard. Okay, it's a Z690, a 590. Um, that, that motherboard is $820 as of right now. And as you see, this, you see a little LCD screen underneath my logo. That's part of the motherboard. And that actually tells you, it reads your boot sequence, make sure everything, like when you boot the computer, it tells you CPU okay, RAM okay, VGA okay, which is a graphics card. Um, so that's pretty cool, I like that. Uh, and then you see the four Corsair RAM right there, those are 32 gigs each. So a total of 128 gigs, uh, 3200 megahertz, all of it. So. It's, actually, I'm sorry, not 3200, 3600 megahertz RAM. Uh, each one was 100 bucks. Think about it because they sell two of them together for $200. So in total, I paid 400 bucks for everything for that one. All right. All right. And then powering the CPU is a i9 10900K 10 core LG 1200 socket CPU, which ran me 450 okay and then the hard drive space in here is you got an m.2 8 terabyte inland performance plus m.2 nvme which cost me 1100 all right and then i got a second hard drive which is an 8 terabyte samsung 870 evo um sata 3 so ssd so there's no mechanical hard drive in here and that one cost me $640, all right? All right, and then of course, pushing the power for everything in the components is a Corsair RM1000 watt power supply unit. That one cost me 280 bucks. 
And then of course you see my logo right there. That's the CPU AIO with the Kraken fans on the top, the radiator. It's a 360 millimeter um, CPU, um, AIO. That right there cost me 275. And of course I have the Corsair fans right there. I got six of those color ones. That cost me $230. They're 115 for a pack of threes. I did have a third one up here, which I'm still including because so I have I still have it. Just it's not working anymore, so I took it out. So it made no sense to keep it in there. So I still including the price. So that cost me $230 for everything. So 115 for each packs of three. Alright. And of course, the beast of them all. You got the GP right there. That is a MSI Ventures Overclock 3X, um, 12 gigabyte of GPU 3080 Ti. That, like I said, I paid 2000 when it first came out because of the price hike. But right now, um, they, they go for 850. So I mean, I put it as 850. Not what I paid. What how much it cost now? And then I know you're not going to be able to see it right over there. I don't think you're going to see it right back there. Underneath the GPU and above the fans, there's a capture card. That's a Maxwell Pro Capture Card HDMI, which costs $300. And to me, that is the best one out there. As you guys know, I used to have the Black Magic one. But the problem with that one is sometimes it has a lot of software issues. Um, some, it, well, like once it's hooked up properly, it, it'll work perfectly. It'll never give you an issue again. But as soon as you take it out and replug it back in, reseed it, the software starts going haywire. It doesn't want to work. You got to reset, adjust. It's a lot of things you have to do. And it, it gets annoying sometimes. So that's why I just got rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. I still have it because I put it on another computer. But... I just went with this one because this one's better and it's been working way better for me. All right, and so, and as you guys seen from my recent review, I did put that five inch monitor screen inside the PC. Uh, yes, I still have the same graphics on there because I think that's the best one I can find right now. It looks pretty nice. Uh, I could put temps on there, but I haven't done that. I might do that. I don't know what I want to do yet, but we'll see from there. All right, um, okay, and then, you see the little, oh yeah, that monitor back there, just to let you know, I, I didn't mention it. That one was 50 bucks, not much. It's not a much of a price. I, you just saw the video on how I installed the monitor, so you guys know everything about that. You know where to get it to and everything. All right, and of course, on the GPU, you see that I have the Leon Lee extended eight pin cables. So I got the colorful cables, which keeps it more organized. That it wasn't that expensive. That was, that was only 35 bucks. That wasn't that much. Now, the last piece of my PC that I have here, you guys seen I did a video on it before. It's a little box right here. That's called a switch bot, which is upside down. Because I have to put it upside down because the button goes right there. I know you can't see that well, but with my AI program, I won't say her name because she's right behind me and she's annoying. Um, if I say, hey, turn on my Razer computer, she'll turn it on. She'll hit the button and everything will turn on. I could turn it off right now and she'll do it, turn it off, but I don't want to do that right now, so I'll keep it like that. But yeah, so that's everything on my PC. I also have this little mic right here I didn't include. This is, this is just the external mic when I use VR headsets. Um, that thing is only about 50 bucks. You can add that to the collection if you want, but I didn't include it. One, because I forgot. Two, I really don't use it as much as people think I do, but that's just another mic to have it. And I have the USB plugged in the back of it because it is USB um, connective, not Bluetooth or anything like that. So it's a better connection than Bluetooth, in my opinion. It's a direct connection, so there you go. So that is my whole PC for my main PC setup, uh, which, like I said, it totaled to five thousand six hundred sixty bucks. But if you include the the little mic right here that I have, 
uh, it comes out to 5,700. So that's how much my main PC setup costs. Some of you be like, damn, you spent a lot of money. Some of you be like, damn, that's nice. So I mean, yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> um, so yeah, you got different things that people talk about. Now, since I have, did talk about my main PC setup, like I said, I do have my streaming PC right here. It is on a mount, uh, under the desk mount. And this is inside a white, as you could tell, NZXT H510 case. This case is very cheap, it's $90. The reason why I didn't keep this as my main PC case is because the airflow is not as good, but for what I use it for just streaming, it's fine. So that's why I still had it, which I plan on building another PC for it and just keeping it somewhere else. But I just ended up being my, my, main, my secondary PC as my streaming PC because I gave my streaming PC that I never used to my nephew for his Christmas gift. All right, so inside this one so like i said the case costs 90 dollars inside this one is the nzxt z590 motherboard no it's not a pre-built i actually bought them separate it's just a coincidence that these motherboards come in these cases where you buy a pre-built but yeah that motherboard cost me 300 dollars also this is um a hard drive m.2 nvme pny M.2, that one cost me 110 bucks, so it isn't that much. Uh, the cooler, it is a Corsair 510. I don't know, you can see it. It's not turned on, that's why you can't see the color, but you see the little housing right there. I'm sorry, the H100i, sorry. RGB Planum AIO, liquid cooled. That one is only 200 bucks, so because there's no LCD or anything, just lighting. So it does light up, but it's not lighting up because the PC is off, all right? This does have a Black Magic Intensity Pro Capture Card. Not the one I had in my main PC before. Because in my main PC I had the same one but the 4K model. This is just a regular one. Not the 4K. Because it's only for streaming. I should put the 4K in here, but it is what it is. That one only cost me $200. Um, this is has a thermal take, tough power, 750, 80 plus go, semi-module, PCS power supply which cost me $90 that wasn't that much all right and then this is powered by, by a Intel i7 11700k 8 core LGA 1200 socket CPU which only cost me 290 bucks all right and, and you see right there you see another graphic card MSI yes all my graphics cards are MSI's and this one's actually an MSI Ventures 2 X and it's an RTX 3070. Uh, it's an 8 gigabyte GPU. That one only costs 420. Of course, I paid less than that. But I'm like I said, I'm going with retail price and I did my overpriced ones to the lower price. And then I'm not going for what I paid for any of my parts. I'm going for what I what they cost right now if you decide to build the same PC. So you saw all the prices for this one for the my stream pc to build this one right now is 1800 that's how much this pc costs to build but with today's prices so yeah so so that's my streaming pc that's my main pc now we're gonna go to the root of everything else and we're gonna take care and see what everything else has to offer so as you see this is my whole setup again so you can see nothing special all right so this is on a electronic lift desk so if i push these buttons right here this will go up as you see it goes up and everything just going up perfectly fine nothing's going wrong nothing's going bad that's an able desk company i made this desk they don't sell this model anymore um they make bigger ones or smaller ones but they don't have this side this is a 70 inch desk across 70 inch and 30 inches back the closest one i found that they sell is a 68 inch long and 28 from front to back so that's why i couldn't find the original price for this but i'm giving you what i paid for this desk cost me 500 dollars when i first bought it because i went with the bigger bigger desk 
at the time if you pay 350 you get the normal size one which is the 50 inch one i wanted the 70 inch one because i wanted because i got all the stuff especially because of those screens there so yeah the desk alone cost me 500 bucks all right and of course you see over here that's my work pc right there my laptop so i'm not even including that you see i have an alex draw right there because i had an under desk drawer but it, it, it wasn't enough space and i needed more space so i got the alex drawer right there the alex drawer is from ikea that's not that much that's only a hundred dollars right there i think it's 110 but i said 100 bucks because i think that's how much i paid because they probably had a sale or something i don't know but that's the alex drawer there I'm gonna go ahead and put the PC back, the desk back down to normal. And see, I don't have to touch anything here. Everything goes back to normal. It's preset to the settings I want, so I don't have to worry about it going too low. All right. And then, as you remember, I told you this is a on an under the desk mount. This is a Vivo under the desk mount that holds the PC under the desk. So when I lift the desk, it goes with it and everything. That mount right there only cost me 50 bucks. It wasn't that much. I got it on sale. I can't find the same one again. So I go go back to what I paid for. And that's what I have. All right. So let's talk about what I sit on. This right here is my Secret Lab tie-in XL chair. My gaming chair right there. And this alone was $575. I looked at the price, how much it costs today. This is the 2020 version. Yes, I, I did get it through the pandemic. The only thing I did to these chairs is I actually changed these little wheels right there. I put those wheels instead of the normal ones. It makes it easier to run around. I did not include this in the price, um, but if I, if you include this, this chair will be $600. For those, those little wheels cost 25 bucks which is not bad at all for what, they, what you could do. All right, and then when I use this chair, I sit in front of this desk, I have these three monitors right there, guys. So as you see, I got the two Samsung's 49 inch ultra wide CHG 90s, 144 megahertz uh, curved monitors right there. They're both 900 each. So a total of 1800 for both monitors. Then of course I got this 15.8 AYY portable monitor right here as a third monitor. Uh, and you guys are wondering why I got that there. I usually, when I stream, I put my OBS there in my chats. It makes it easier instead of me keep looking up to this screen because it's pretty high. I game there and I put the every all the information down here. So that's why I, the only reason why I put it there. If it wasn't for that, I, if I didn't stream, I really wouldn't care. I wouldn't even have put the screen there, but that's the only reason why I have this here. Because it makes it easier for me to look at when I'm gaming. That's the only reason why. All right. So these two monitors are mounted. Oh yeah. And this monitor right here, the portable one, costs $180. Just, I know I almost forgot to mention the price on it. All right. So these two monitors, the 249 inch ones, I can't just use any regular um, modern amount to mount them on there because these monitors are too heavy to it to put it up there. So I have to put special mounts on there uh, and they cost more expensive. The mount I use to put these on here is the Arctic Cooling Z1 Pro Generation 3 mounts with the extension so I can put the stock one on top. All together came out to $230 just for the mounts. So I can mount these monitors just the way they are like that. Now, if it wasn't for that monitor, I wouldn't be able to have both of them. All right, so like I mentioned before, you guys, so I know I, I love doing VR. This actually was one of my first VR headsets. This is the PC VR. This is the Oculus Rift S. I did have the regular Rift before I upgraded to the S. Uh, the only difference between these, those two is the regular Rift, you need sensors all around the room. Like if I, I had to put mount, mount sensor up there if I wanted to use it, just okay, I could use the headset. But since this one has built-in cameras inside here, you're gonna see the cameras right there. Those are like using the Oculus Quest. Um, I don't need no sensors. It just, it just, just put the headset and use it. So that's the reason why I went that one. That right there, if you buy it right now, it is $500 for the PC VR. I prefer PC VR over the Oculus Quest just because 
you get more power out of it. Just, just that way. That's the reason, main reason why. The Quest can only do so much. <laughs> but I do have my Quest inside the box right down there in that casing. I still use it from the time to time, but I did not include it in the price, so I'm not even gonna tell you the price on that. I didn't include it in the whole price, but if you did want to get it, I think right now it's for $3.99 for the small one, and the big one's $4.99. I believe that's the upgraded prices now. All right, so other than that, we're doing. Okay, so you saw earlier that when I was showing my streaming PC that I do have my, my headsets right there. That's when I game. That is the Steel Series Arctic Wireless Gaming Headset. And that is the controller for it. So I can control the volume, uh, chat um, volume, PC volume, all that. Those, that's the whole complete set right there. It is the older version, it's not the newer one. I like the older version versus the newer version. Because the newer version, you have to mount it. And this actually, reason why I went with this headset, main reason why is because these are battery operated. So if I take this cover off here, let me just take this cover off real quick right here for you guys. All right, you see there's a battery right there, right? So you have to charge the battery every time the thing dies. But the thing with this headset, it comes with two batteries. That one that goes in the headset, and then there's one that mounts inside right here. This is where it charges the second one. Let me take out the battery so you guys can see it. See the second battery right here. And so when I want it, when this one dies, I just replace the battery and I put the dead battery back in there. If I can put it back in there. Okay, there you go. So I put it back in and then you see right there, it tells me it's charging, which is already full. That headset was actually the best thing I could buy for my PC setup. I swear to God it is. That one cost me $175 as of right now. All right, and to continue on, what I use to record, to show my face when I'm streaming, what I do show, because I barely show it anymore, is my Logitech C920 right there with the privacy cover on it. Because you know, government's always watching. <laughs> I put it right there between the two screens. You can barely even tell. I bet you, you didn't even know it was there until I actually showed you. But when people see that, they're like, oh my God, that's a great spot. And yeah, it's an awesome camera. I, the one I wish I could use the most, which is a, actually a better camera, the one I have up here, <laughs> that's the Elgato face cam. That one costs 150 bucks. And the Logitech C920 costs only 60 bucks as of right now. The reason why I can't put this one down right here, as you can see, because of the size of it, it'll block the, the screen more. This one just gives me enough space to use it. So that's the only reason why, but there's times that I'll switch that one over and bring it down there and use it because it is a better, better camera. In my opinion, as for, now if you need to, for it to uh, focus and stuff like that, it's not a better camera. The live track is better. But if you're not gonna move and you stay one spot, then the face cam one is the best one. In my personal opinion, that's just me. All right, and of course, I do have a stream deck. This is the Elgato Stream Deck XL. This is the bigger version. This is the 32 keys instead of the 15 keys. And this one right now costs $240. I did have the 15 keys, but I got rid of it. I should have kept it, but but I got rid of it. <laughs> but that one cost $204. And then of course, when I am streaming, I'm using a stream deck, I'm using my camera, I, I need lights. So I have two Elgato key lights that go on top, which are controlled right with the, with the controller right there. So if I hit these two buttons right here, it turns on both lights. Look at that, it's pretty bright. I know it's bright as hell. I'm gonna turn them off. So the stream deck is multiple use for a lot of different things, guys. And I love it. And for the two key lights, I pay $180 each. So they come out to $360 for both of them. All right, and then of course, all right, and a crown jewel too over here. You see that big bar right there, that black bar right there in the corner? That's my Elgato retractable green screen. I want to put it behind me and I'm not lazy. I use that green screen, which is awesome. Um, that costs $170 right there. I think at the time when I bought it, it was actually cheaper. But right now, if you want to get that one, it's $170.
I think I paid 150 for my can't remember, but I'm pretty sure that's how much I paid. But yeah, there you guys go. All right. Now, on top of here, you see I have a DLSR camera. That's my overhead camera. Anything I'm doing any kind of things right here, any like hand watching or videos, or if I'm doing unboxing right here on the desk, this overhead camera is what I use. And that's the Nikon D5500 camera. That one's $700. You're like, why would you pay $700 for overhead camera? No. This used to be my vlogging camera that I, I used to use with, like if I'm using it right now for this one recording. That's what I use of course with things going on and everything I do upgrade. But this one right now at this point, I think I paid more. But at this point right now it is $700 if you want to get that. I did not include the little roll mic on top. Um, I have that one there because when I use vlogging I'll use it on that camera if anything. And I have that mic right there. I just had extra mic. I didn't know where else to put that mic at so I didn't want to lose it. So there, that's $700, not including the mic on top. Now, you wonder what is that bar holding the camera up to, for your overhead shot? Okay, it comes in two parts. I have the Elgato master mount, which is the pole mount that mounts to the back of the, on the desk. I don't know if you can see it back there. Well, you see that pole right there? That's the pole is mounted on the desk and it goes all the way to the back up to right there. And that's the, called the master mount. Then the bar that comes out that you see is curving, twisting up and down right there. That's the flex arm. You have those two things are separate in pricing. I forget how much they are separately, but all together, the flex arm here plus the master mount all together came out to 80 bucks. I think the pole is 40 bucks and the flex mount is another 40 bucks if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but. From what I remember, that's what it is. All right, now, that's my overhead camera. Now, you're wondering, where's your mic? Because I used to have my mic over here on the side and now I'm not there. Um, as you saw in my previous video, I had the mic arm right there that comes over from the back to the front. So to demonstrate, if I pull this screen forward, which is nothing, all right, and I bring this over here. I just bring this mount up right there and then put it right there, guys. And then boom, simple as that. It's not that hard. It is a little hard. It looks harder now because I was using just one hand because I'm using the other hand to hold the camera. But there you go. That's the Elgato low profile wave mic arm. Yes, low pro that's it's called low profile because it, it fits under the screen. That arm alone cost me $100. And then attached to it is a HyperX Quadcast microphone, which I love. The main reason I like it is one, because of the light. It turns on when it's, when it's actually activated. So if I was recording right now and I was using that mic, right now it's telling me it's on. If I want to turn it off, I just click on the top right here and it goes off. So when it's off like that, that means it's not, it's no sound going through. So yeah, that is the mic that I'm using. And that mic right there, cost 150 bucks as I said I think I paid more than that when I first when I got it but right now it costs 150 all right and of course right now I do have some sh little shitty speakers they're not shitty shitty but then it's loud anymore you see the mic right the little speaker right there I got that one there on one side I got the other one right back there and if you look in the bottom I have the subwoofer right there that's a subwoofer for hanging. I, I mounted it under the desk because when, like I said before, the desk goes up and down. So when I do that, I don't have to worry about the cable. So I just mount it on the desk. So it doesn't interfere with the cable gain too short, too long, simple as that. So that's where it is. That those are the Logitech Z313 speaker sound system. That wasn't expensive. You can buy these at Walmart for 50 bucks, but on Amazon, they're 50 bucks. So boom, there you guys go. All right, and of course, what I use sometimes to game is the PlayStation 5. All right, I did buy this at retail because I was able to get it. I was able to pre-order it when it came out. So I'm going with the retail price, MSRP, 500 bucks. Uh, I don't know how much are there on the street right now. I don't know if they're even available anymore. Well, I mean, they are available if you can find them, but 
I don't know how much they are because I know some of them would like to raise prices. But yeah, that's what I had. So that's 500 bucks there. All right. So and next to it, you see all my remotes there. Um, that's a remote for different systems on my computer. One's the PS5. The other one's the computer remote, which I never use. I used another PS5 remote right there connected to the PC. <laughs> um, and then two of the other remotes for another system back there, which I'll get to in a second. But yeah, and it's on a little mount. That didn't cost me anything besides materials because I 3D printed that. So that didn't cost me anything. Let's just put a price tag of $10 if that. If I 3D printed, I found a, a template online. I was like, oh, this is gonna work perfect. And boom. So I have all my remotes there. And the only reason why I keep this one there is because I use that a lot to, to, to play and it keeps the charge at all times. And since I'm there, right there, you see the little garment that's within my um, PC desk that has an SD card reader, two USB 3.0s, one USB-C, and a micro, US, uh, micro SD reader. So that's a garment. I forgot the name of it, of it, but that one cost me $45. I did find it on Amazon and it's awesome. It's the best thing I could buy. Normally, these desks come with like pre-cut holes for the garment. So I did I did have that one point back there, but then I replaced it with a power one. So that one plugs in, to, it has two USB ports and two wall plug sockets there. Uh, so, cause when I ever wanna need to power something up or charge something, I could just plug it in there. That's another 45 bucks and it wasn't that much either. So yeah. Uh, when I did the whole total price for everything, I did not include that one. So I only included this one right here. So that one, like I said, is 45 bucks, not that bad. All right, and so that's there. And then as you see, we're right here. You see my little keyboard right here. This is the Razer Black Widow version three mechanical keyboard, wireless keyboard. I have it plugged in all the time because for some reason the dongle doesn't work on here. So I can't get it to work only by being plugged in. Uh, I never just, try to return and get a new one. But it doesn't really bother me. I like it to plug in because I don't want to recharge it all the time. So it's on there. That keyboard alone costs 140 bucks. And of course, to match the keyboard, I do have right here, this is the Razer Ballistic Ultimate Hyperspeed Wireless Gaming Mouse with the charging dock right there. So I never have to replace the battery or anything. So when I'm done using it, all I have to do is take the mouse and put it right here and I'll start charging it. Simple as that. See, I was charging right there. That's simple, so I never have to worry about that. That whole setup right there cost me $100. It wasn't that bad. Now, having all this, I'm not gonna show you, but having all this plugged in, it's gonna take more than two little sockets right there. But you see only two things are plugged in. How am I powering all this up? At Walmart, I did buy a uh, two power strips, which are three plug connections. They have 10 three prong connections for plugs. Uh, so I got two of them installed there. And those are 30 bucks each, so I paid 60 bucks for the whole total setup there. And the reason why I went with that because to run all the power plugs down here and then the, that's going up and down is gonna be a, a problem. So these, these strip power strips or have very long cables like you see and they run to the back of the desk and up this little skeleton looking thing right here and to the back of back here and it's powering everything up for me right there okay so like i said those are 30 dollars each and that skeleton thing looking thing i i didn't include it in my price thing but i believe that cost me 40 dollars. i just didn't include it so I forgot to include it. So like I said, there's already, there's already like $200 worth of stuff that I forgot to include. But it's all right, not a problem. So yeah, so that's what it is. Two power strips, 10 connections each of three prongs. And then, and they also have two USB power on each one. So I got a total of four all together. And sometimes when I need to run power by USB, I use that. Like when I used to have the uh, LED, light strips in the back i use that power source so i don't have to use a plug all right but that's it okay so having all these connections and everything 
I also have right down here, you see the lights right here, these red lights. That's actually my HDMI matrix switcher. It's a four in, two out connection. So having that here, cause I can connect my PC and all the stuff that I have here. I can show it here and show it on this TV right here at the same time without losing any connection or have to replace cables or anything. That is the Avedo HDMI link matrix. Uh, it's a 60 Hertz, 4K, four by two HDMI matrix switch, which only cost me 50 bucks. It wasn't that bad. All right. And also, as you see, I got a lot of devices connected to this computer and you're wondering, I know your motherboard doesn't have that many USB ports on here. And you're right, it doesn't have that many USB ports to support all this stuff that I have connected here. So what do I have connected here? I have a Sabrent 10 port 60 watt USB 3.0 hub, which is in the back of the computer under the desk, it's mounted under the desk. That one only cost me 60 bucks, so there you guys go. And I, and sometimes when I need more space, because the two eight terabyte SSDs that I have installed here, I need an external hard drive to back up my stuff in case I lose any, if I lose any information on my desk or my computer loses his, it loses my hard drive. I have a backup hard drive disk. It's an external. This is a 12 terabyte Western digital desk hard drive enclosure right there. And like I mentioned, it has a 12 terabyte. That one cost me 280 bucks at the point right now. So that's what I have and it's hidden behind the third screen so nobody ever sees it. As you see right behind there. All right, and you're wondering how is all my wires being held? How are, I know the wire is not 100% perfect. I used to see some wires hanging out here. I haven't worried about too much, but most of the wire, if, if you see all the wires here, there's a lot of wires to connect all this stuff on this little setup here. And if you look under my desk, you see only a couple wires are hanging. I don't know why that one wire is hanging, but as you see it's covered and you don't see no wires hanging really. It's because I'm using a human scale, neat tech cable management cover. It's the mesh cover. And I, if you've noticed before earlier, I show you these lights here because I do have my matrix switcher inside this net. This is a mesh cuff cloth thing right here. So, it's very flexible from human scale. I got that for $140. So it's actually a really, really good device there. I mean, I love it. I, and that took me forever to find because I was trying to find the perfect because a lot of people you like to use the um, the IKEA and cinema wire rack, which is not that clean. This hides all your cable. If you're smart and I know how to do it properly, it hides all your cable properly. Don't know why that cable is hanging, but I got to figure that out soon. <laughs> All right, and also, you guys know I mentioned I have the Elgato capture cards. I mean, I'm not the capture cards, the, I got the Maxwell capture card in this one. I got the Blackmagic one in here. And back here, I don't know if you can notice, right here, I also have an external Elgato H60S Plus capture card. I was using that for my streaming PC to stream it, to stream it because of the ITX one because I couldn't put an internal capture card, so I used the external one. I still have it there. Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with it or how I'm gonna use it, but just, I just included it since it's still here, and that one costs $140. So, not too bad, there you guys go. All right guys, so that's pretty much everything on my desk, and I do have other stuff to go over, because I do have a lot of little other nicks and knacks that I wanna show you. All right, so, like I mentioned earlier, I do have the little box back there because it is with these two remotes right there. That is my King Hand Super Console X Pro Retro Game Console. I can play all my retro games here. That goes everything from Atari all the way to PlayStation 1. It has over 15,000 games, I believe, 150,000 games. I, I forget how many games it has, but it's 250 gigs of games installed in there. And that one cost me 125 bucks, which is freaking awesome. And on the other side of this, I have my Fire TV Cube second gen. And that's the reason why I have the matrix score. So if I wanna use any of this on my computer, 
All I have to do is hit a switch or two and I'll play it right on my screen by using any of my um, video software. So that's why I have that the matrix right there. You saw the little light right there, the little red light. That's my, my HDMI matrix. And it works awesome. And over here, I have my Nintendo Switch right here, guys. This is my Nintendo Switch right here. This was 300 bucks. I use it sometimes when I want to stream and play certain games on there. Boom, there you guys go. Just sit there, just hook up the USB on the HDMI and I'm all set. All right. Then, not in the picture right now, because I haven't put it away, because it takes up a lot of space here, is my Logitech G920 steering wheel with the pedals and shifter and stand so I could just sit it right there and I use my chair sit right behind it and use it and I don't have it listed here or well, I don't have it in the picture but I do have the whole setup there so the steering wheel itself cost me 330 the stand cost me 120 so everything came out to 450 so that's what I have there you know I don't have it right here I have it put away because I was just finished cleaning the house and I, I forgot to keep it out <laughs> simple as that but it is part of the setup so that's why i have the setup you guys know what if you guys don't know what it is just look up the logitech g920 and you'll see what that steering wheel is it's freaking awesome and i'm actually going to bring it out soon because i got to play this i want to play some uh, acero corsa so i'm gonna be playing that soon and then you see right down here you've probably seen it a few times already that is the pandera dual joystick gaming console retro that has all the arcade games I used to play as a kid in the stores, the corner supermarket, video game stores like Game & Busters, the Street Fighters, all that stuff. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, all those games are all built into a little device. I use that when I want to do Retro Night on my streams and I use that instead of actually powering up the Super Console X over there because I, I like the joystick feel sometimes better. So that alone costs 180 bucks. And, and you guys remember I mentioned that I use that one when I want to stream to green screen and show my face. When I'm too lazy and don't want to show that out, I do bring out this green screen right here, which this green screen is pretty cool because that mounts right on top of the chair right there. And so I have a screen screen right behind me without having to do too much work. And that green screen is not expensive at all. That green screen is only 50 bucks and it does so much. I'll show you in a minute how much uh, how it looks but before i do that i do want to show you two little things that i did get this is the nzxt pucks those are cable management and um headset holders so i put my headset here the headset holder it holds my headset there and if it had a wire it'll wrap around there by we onto those are pretty cool and they're magnetic so i have it there i I don't use them anymore, but I still keep them because when I actually get a, a game room, I'm gonna use them for my other PCs instead. So I have the white one here and the black one right there. Got the black one because of the black PC and the white one because I, at the time when I got the PC, I was using this case right here, the NZXT 510i, okay? And then of course you saw that I just put my headset right here and it's on this um, headphone hanger. And it has USB ports, which are 3.0 and 2.0. And it has a headphone jack. And it plugs into an HDMI, not HDMI, uh, USB 3.0 to your uh, computer. And, and you, it can work as a sound card with a, uh, with a plug for your headset, a 3.5 millimeter jack right there. Can't see it in here, but it's okay. That one only cost me 40 bucks. And I did, like I said, I did want to show you how this chair, uh, green screen chair thing looks like. So I'm gonna bring this out, so bring it out, and I can pop it up, see how fast that is. And see, that's the back of it, and then in the front of it, you see right here, this mount right here, that goes in the back of the chair. So give me a second, I'll show you how it looks. All right guys, so there you guys go. So that's how it looks, look how big that thing is. That thing is huge, and it's mounted right on my chair. I don't have to worry about, see how big it is? So it covers a lot, so you don't have to worry about having some dead area. But look at this, so if I bring up my chair, anywhere I move my chair, my thing moves with it. So as you see, I just moved it away from the wall so you can see. And it's only held by this right here, these Velcro straps. 
and you can adjust into any of your chairs so that's awesome i love this thing the thing is awesome all right guys so let's go ahead and get my final thoughts on my pc tour all right guys so you saw my whole tour you saw my whole pc setup you saw the green screen here you saw how everything worked you saw all the stuff i have here so you got an idea of how i put all this together you saw it took a lot of work it took me a while to show you everything that's going on again i would try to leave a list down below of everything i have on my setup here i did make a digital copy of the list of everything i have and and i'll leave the links to each item if you guys are interested um, buy any of the things if i didn't mention something in the video just leave me a comment down below and i'll and i'll tell you what how much i pay for it and where to get it and very simple all right so i told you how much the pc setup costs this pc setup that pc setup I to how much each individual part costs to put this all together including the desk the chair the green screen the monitors everything so are you guys ready if you guys did the map you guys will realize how much the grand total is so the grand total for all this stuff right here is sixteen thousand nine hundred dollars um i added the extra little things that i added that i forgot to add before so i added it in there for you guys to, to have it but yeah it was sixteen thousand nine hundred might as well just run it up to seventeen thousand dollars setup right here guys this is just my setup is this the best setup out there no is this the worst setup hell no but it's my setup my best setup for me remember guys a lot of people say i want to have your setup i want to have your setup i get this stuff because i get influenced by other people i see what other people have and when i see i'm like oh that's something i could use let me get it now there's stuff that i see that i buy it and i use it i use it for maybe a week or two and then i get rid of it because I think oh, I don't want it anymore. Or no, it's not what I thought it would be. But right now, this is the best setup that it works for me. Doesn't mean that you need to get the same setup as I do. And I'm not bragging about any of the stuff like that. I work very hard for all my stuff here, guys. This wasn't done overnight. This wasn't done in a year. This was done over many years. And every time I get something new, I ended up upgrading. Because I had somebody even comment in one of my videos, semi stop upgrading you're spending too much money no it wasn't my wife it was actually a subscriber <laughs> and i'm like yeah I, like i love doing this stuff this stuff is fun to me this is my hobby this keeps me off the street and doing stuff that i'm gonna regret later let's put it that way because before computers it was cars and i was always on the street that kept me out of trouble cars kept me out of trouble but between cars and pc there was a big gap there was a couple year gap in there this is to say I wasn't the nicest person during that time. <laughs> so I need something. I need, everybody needs a hobby to keep them entertained and keep them sane and out of trouble. And cars and technology is my hobby and that keeps me out of trouble. It keeps, it keeps me safe, put it that way. So parents out there that are always worry, oh, the kids spend too much money on video games and computer. Think about it. it. Keeps them off the streets. Always gotta remember that. But yeah, guys, that was my whole computer tour with my price plan. Uh, I'm not here to brag about anything. You guys know I don't brag about my setup. If I did brag about my setup, you'll see a lot more cocky videos. But I don't brag at all of my setup. I really don't. Because there's nothing to brag because everybody's setup is different. Everybody is for them, how, what they can afford and what they can do. Could, could I afford this in, let's say, a week? No. All this in one week, I wouldn't be able to afford it. I would have to take out a loan to get all this stuff in one week. So, yeah. This is over time. This is not done overnight. So, you remember that, guys. All right. If you enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you today, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support that you guys love to show the channel. Also, don't forget to hit that share button because sharing is caring. And we want to make sure that everyone is aware of everything we do on this channel so they don't miss a thing just like you don't miss out. And guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comment box down below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, when I can, as fast as I can. And if you still haven't done so at the end of this video, guys, hit the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you get notified every time we drop great videos like this one or whenever we go live. Because trust me, guys, you never, ever want to miss out. And that's it for today, guys. Until next time, I'm out of here. Peace.